Now we're hearing straight from Austin Police Chief Joseph Chacon about his efforts to get more officers to take overtime shifts to cover for vacancies. KXAN's Brianna Hollis learned today this won't cost taxpayers additional money. The funding actually comes from salaries that aren't being paid due to the department's open positions. We've been struggling with getting our overtime shifts uh, filled throughout the city. Staffing issues have plagued the department throughout the past year with high departure rates, fewer cadet classes, and an uptick in crime. You know, if this is happening all the time, can they actually arrest and detain all of these people if this is happening so often? Um, I don't know. But, Ava Haney uh, had a scare downtown last month. She says a man made harassing and threatening comments to her and her friends. Pulls up a full bottle of wine and starts laughing, pretending like he's hitting my friends over the head with it. She says so police responded, but the officers left before she could ask if the man was arrested or still walking the streets downtown. We have officers that, you know, we've asked uh, to not only take on a job that, that, that can be dangerous at times, but we're asking them to do it more than 40 hours a week. In an email, Chief Joseph Jacon told the department the overnight patrol shifts in particular are, quote, consistently working extremely short staffed, a problem he hopes double OT will fix. While he does recognize it won't solve all of the department staffing problems. I do not anticipate every single position will be filled. He says it'll cost about $50,000 a week. Do have the budget to be able to cover that. Having some incentive. Sure. Wanting to be a part of this and fight back is incredible. Brianna Hollis, KXAN News. Keep in mind, APD is also paying at least 19 officers who cannot patrol right now because those officers are on administrative leave pending the outcome of criminal cases. They're under indictments associated with actions they took allegedly during the 2020 racial injustice protests. The department will review the double overtime program weekly. It currently ends on May 28th, but APD may decide to extend it. It's worth mentioning any new officers APD brings on board will learn what is called a reimagined curriculum. In 2020, new classes were put on hold to revamp training to prioritize de-escalation and community relations. And over at KXAN.com, you can read more about the other staffing issues APD is facing. We go in-depth to explain why there is now a backlog of low-level crimes because of how Austin police want to report them.